Hi, my name is David McCann with WebTNG, and today I'm going to talk about installing the Laragon WAMP stack. The website is https laragon.org. Go onto the website and click on the download Laragon button. You'll see there are several installers. We're interested in the WAMP installer, Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP. Go ahead and click the download link. Once it's finished downloading, you can double click on the installer to launch it. You can just accept all of the defaults. It's going to, by default, put it into the C drive. You can change that if you want. On mine, I have it on the E drive. This is the applet menu, and these are the uh, preferences that you can change. Notice that at the bottom I changed uh, .dev to .com in the host name. That's the domain suffix that Largon's going to use when it creates your uh, dev site. So, for example, if our site is called devtest, it'll put .com at the end. Or if you don't change that, it'll put .dev at the end. And Largon automatically adds that entry into your host file uh, when it creates the virtual host. So that's all taken care of for you. So I checked Enable Virtual Hosts, and on this other screen, Enable SSL. I've started it up. I went to the tray. To the Quick Create, selected WordPress. I'm going to create a site, Dev Test. Largon downloads the latest version of WordPress or whatever program you selected from that Quick Create menu. And because uh, we've got this virtual host enabled, we're going to get a little Microsoft uh, security confirmation window. And now we're going to visit the site and you see the regular WordPress installer. The name we uh, gave the site, DevTest, is the database name. By default, Laragon uses root as the MySQL uh, username and a blank password. You can change those things if you want, but since it's a local install, I don't care. And again, I just use a simple username and password here for local testing. Of course, for a real site on the internet, you'd want to use really strong passwords. WordPress is installed. We're going to log in. And here we are. I think that was a really quick and easy way to install WordPress. 
check out the options and programs available on this context menu. This is where you would enable the PHP extensions, the edit the INI file, the comp files, and a tool for manually editing the host file should you need to do that.